Hey, it's Peter Reed Miller on Sports Photography, back again with another story from the vault, behind the scenes, what happened, what didn't happen, and what was supposed to happen. Today, I'm going to talk about Matt Barkley, former USC quarterback, uh, played a little bit in the pros. Um, I shot him when he was still at USC, and the idea was to um, actually shoot him from beneath, through glass. I mean, this is not uh, something that I invented. Plenty of people have done it. It's a, it's a technical challenge. It really is. Um, so here he is. This is the final shot. Um, but here we are setting up to begin with. Now, uh, we've, we're at the USC football field. We've put down plywood to protect the field. We've rented a scaffolding to mount the plexiglass, which is not, I don't think it's even there yet. But uh, So we're putting this all together. I've got about five assistants here. This is uh, Christian. He's my handyman, actually. And he's put the, ca the scaffolding together, and then this is a half-inch piece of Lexan uh, plastic. It's bulletproof, it uh, weighs about 200 pounds, costs us about $1,200. Uh, they asked me if I could get a thinner piece, and I thought, well, I'm going to be right underneath it. He's going to be right on top of it. Nothing good can come out of that. So we got the expensive piece. Okay, and now we're building a tent, because whenever you shoot through plastic, you, you reflect everything. So we're building a tent for me that will basically block out all the light around me. We've also, to run the lights, we didn't know if they'd have power, so we brought a generator. We're self-sufficient. We've got pop-ups. We've got, we've got everything. Here. We're an expedition. Okay, here we go. I'm in my tent. Uh, we're trying to get the lighting. The wind, of course, has come up, and that's making it tough for us, but uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. So here we go. Now, this is probably one of Matt's problems. He's taking advice from me. It's probably a big mistake on his part. But uh, I'm giving him some positioning instructions and uh, there he goes. He's up on top. The assistant's giving him the football and we're hoping everything doesn't blow away. And uh, boom, that's the shot. That's the shot from my view there. And then uh, he comes down and takes a look at it. And uh, there you are. That's how we did it. Uh, another story from the vault, Peter Reed Miller on sports photography. If you have questions, drop me an email and please subscribe. Thanks. Okay, if you have any more questions about how this was done, check out this time lapse that one of my assistants shot.